France is now the first country to codify abortion rights in their constitution. Cool. Now you have to choose. Where do you want to live? Montgomery, Alabama, Paris, France. Montgomery, Alabama, Paris, France. It, 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 which destination is going to be more attractive to you? Uh, Alabama, France. Alabama, France. Bama, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to your on Patreon. Follow us to the account, subscribe, like button. Yes. And this is a video. It's called How Curry from India Conquered Britain. Interesting. As opposed to How Britain Conquered India. Right. Which we right. know. Yeah. And I hope this is just as violent. So you get some sweet, sweet revenge. I guess it is because when British people eat spicy food. It's probably a lot like when Corbin eats. Spice. And it's interesting because it is very popular in Britain. Which is so strange. And the Brits are not known for no. flavorful food. <laughs> like they have some of the most bland food in the world, yeah. famously. Famously. And then one of the most popular dishes right. is, is Indian food. Indian food. Which it's very interesting. is not bland. But I understand a huge reason for that is because there's a very large percentage of Britain's population that's Indian. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how many of it are the Brits. Yeah. Here we go. Going for an Indian or having a curry is almost as stereotypically British as roast dinners Sorry, or British fish and Yeah, can we never stop, say, never say, going for an Indian. I'm going for an Indian. Again. I think you Brits just need to <laughs> no. 86 that Completely saying. Completely lose that saying. Uh, just, just terrible. Don't I'm ever going s- for an Indian. <laughs> I'll take that one. Ah. Wow. Know your history and say better things. Here we go. (laughs) Going for an Indian or having a curry is almost as stereotypically British as roast dinners or fish and chips. There are around 12,000 curry houses in Britain. The word is Tamil curry, which meant a spiced sauce, but gradually the term was adapted and used as a generic term for any stew-like food from the Indian subcontinent, Mm -hmm. rather ignoring such subtleties as regional differences. Of course, let's ignore the regional differences. Cooking methods and ingredients. The first definite mention of curry in English is 1598, but the first recipe for curry published in Britain wasn't until 1747, oh, wow. at which time Brits, long-time traders with India, were slowly taking over the country. Traders. Thousands of British men and women spent time in India stealers, with Indian conquerors, cooks and yeah. servants, and while some Colonizers. tried to maintain Western eating habits, most quickly embraced the taste of their new home. When they returned to Britain, they brought their new love of Indian food back with them. Aww. Those who had lived in India knew very well that not all Indian dishes were curry, and when the first, albeit short-lived, Indian restaurant in Britain opened in London in 1810, oh. its menu contained kitchri, chutney and palau, dishes later known by the anglicised names kedgeri, chutney and pilaf. Manuscript oh. books kept by those in the know also differentiated between dishes, but they were very much a minority, and in Britain, curry became a catch-all term for almost yeah, anything still with Indian is. spices. Slowly, certain dishes, especially Cock. chicken curry, which used an elderly fowl which had stopped laying eggs, entered the mainstream repertoire. Ready-made curry powders were widely sold. British palates were not used to Indian spices, and the early recipes are more like gently flavoured meaty stews <laughs> laden with turmeric, like ginger and galangar with cayenne for a hit. By the 19th century, curry was in every cookbook, mainly as a leftover dish. The Anglo-Indian cuisine of this era was a hybrid, using pickled cucumbers to replace mango, apple instead of tamarind, and ready-made spice blends galore. It was great, but had very little in common with its eastern roots. Queen Victoria took a different approach, regularly eating Indian dishes prepared by the cook to her Indian attendants, who joined the royal staff at her Golden Jubilee in 1887. There were a few eating houses run by Indians, mainly for other Indians in port towns, but it took until the 1920s for high-profile restaurants to open, catering for a British market. By 1946, there were around 20 Indian restaurants in London. Boom time for curry came after the Second World War, when the partition of India brought migrants from Punjab and Silit to Britain. In the 1970s, civil war in Bangladesh saw many Bangladeshis flee to Britain, and even today, many apparently Mm. generic Indian restaurants are really Bangladeshi. Hmm. Curry in its 1970s form was cheap and cheerful, adapted like to mom. British tastes. In 2001, the then Foreign Secretary, Robin Cook, declared boldly that Britain's national dish was chicken tikka masala, a classic example of an Indian dish, buttered chicken, meeting British tastes, in this case with the addition of cream and, allegedly, cream of tomato soup. In the last decade or so, the British relationship to Indian food has changed. 
Most of us have grown out of wanting something so hot it'll hospitalise us. Leading Indian chefs are teaching us that there is so much more to Indian food than the comforting predictability of the average restaurant menu. Maybe after 250 years, we've simply come full circle. Have you? Because you still call it getting an Indian. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you really have gone full circle, I'd recommend returning the, <laughs> re returning the jewels. Yeah. That would be really lovely. That's actually an, uh, yeah. a nice video because I've always I've always wondered. Obviously, I'm like the actual reason behind why it's so popular in Britain. Mm, mm. Obviously, I know because you conquered them, you brought a lot of them um, over, and so uh, naturally, it's going to be a like when obviously um, uh, black people were brought from Africa to America. Southern food is heavily influenced by black cuisine, uh, and so many other things in American culture are. Um, uh, Mexican influenced or or uh, African American influenced, whether it's in the culture or whatever. So it it's a natural thing that happens, but uh, the actual like history behind it is is intriguing. It is like because uh, you know Britain has conquered everyone. Uh, so are other cuisines as popular? So is there like African cuisine? That uh, is that also really popular in in Britain as well? Or never heard it was any other Asian country that they've uh, I, conquered I, or I believe Chinese food is, but it always has to be taken with a grain of salt per se. Yeah. I say that figuratively because a lot of people here think a lot of Chinese dishes that we think are stereotypically really Chinese have no origins in yeah. China at all. Same um, Indian food here, yeah, yeah. exactly. So Chick yeah, myself. we'd be interested to to know what what are the most popular cuisines in uh, Britain and and are they authentic? It sounds like with the end there and also what I've heard from other places is 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 that Indian cuisine is becoming more representative of the totality of India, not just the north. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, um, wish that would happen here. Uh, well, I mean we. Just uh, had a video at a delicious South Indian It was, which was wonderful, but that's far and few between. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if I can find some, like, Bengali restaurants or... Well, I know, I know well, a Punjabi restaurant. That's the thing is you'll find a Bengali restaurant here, but it's going to be Bangladesh Bengali, yeah. not necessarily West Bengal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bengali. Um, or, like, if there's a Telugu, um, Canada, more region-specific. Yeah, the predominant speakers of Bengali here in America are Bangladeshi. Yeah. So. Um, I wonder what's more authentic. Uh, do you think American Indian food or British Indian food? I would actually Good question. think it would be British. I would, I would lean that way as well as far as it being more close to home. Just because, like we said, what, the history of it. I mean, we got a lot of Indians here in America, but percentage-wise with the, the general population, mm -mm. I, it it wouldn't surprise me. My my Mickey may know. I don't know how much Indian food he had when he lived in England, but he was in he was in England for seven years. Yeah. So he something like that. He, or I he wonder if it's the exact same. But that was a while ago. So I wonder if it may have changed. Maybe it's the exact same as well. Yeah. For any of you stupid babies who are there, because yeah. we know there's stupid babies that are in oh, yeah. England, let us let us know what's it like there. Are they doing justice to the cuisine? Yeah. And uh, if there's other videos of informational kind of videos uh, that we should react to, please let us know what those are. Down below. Just